Hi Caps, this is my third attempt. Let's see if we can get this done. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, June 1st to the 11th. So Capricorns, I was picking up on a couple different kind of things going on for my Cappies. And you know, I get multiple messages for different people. So just take what resonates, okay? So in the meditative session, interesting, very interesting. Uh, and actually, before I get into it, let me just say, I feel like I'm tapped into very masculine Capricorn energy. That's been happening for me since pretty much since I moved, where it seems like the energies that are at the forefront are, are males or masculine dominant Fem uh, feminines okay females um so just know that so if you're a dominant female energy because we all have masculine and feminine energy but if you have dominant female energy this will probably be vice versa for you okay <clears throat> excuse me let me get some water mm. okay so the meditative session they showed me something really interesting this is only gonna this is not going to apply to everybody they showed me a nomad <laughs> Just straight up, they showed me a nomad. I don't think it's a past life. I think it's a lifelong energy that some of my Capricorns have been harnessing, where it's like constantly on the move, constantly going from person to person, situation to situation, job to job, place to place, in search of that thing, in search of that thing that will make them over the moon in life. Because I feel like this energy, whoever has that lifelong energy, um, it's not that you're unhappy, you're quite content, but you want to be more than content. You want to be ecstatic about life. You want to be overjoyed. You want to be over the moon about life. And you know it's just that one thing. You don't know what it looks like, but you know what it'll feel like. And I thought that was interesting. And I feel like for that group of Capricorns, you're channeling your inner cancer. Because it was a nomad that I saw. And it's like they had their whole life with them. Very Cancerian. A Cancer always brings their shell with them and everything in it. The toothbrush, first aid kit, all the vitamins, just in case, extra outfit, you never know. You know, it's like, you know, very Cancerian and you're channeling that. And we all have the ability to harness any sign, but that is your counterpart. It's your natural seventh. It's, you know, it's your counterpart, just like Scorpio with, with Taurus, just like Aries with Libra. And you're channeling that, which I think is really interesting. Um, but for that group of Capricorns, I feel like... Again, it's about what it feels like, not what it looks like. Again, so Cancerian, because Cancers are about the feels, while Capricorns are about, show me, let me see, let me touch. Cancers are like, let me feel this out, right? Anyway, not going to beat a dead horse. <laughs> I do feel like you do feel that right thing for you. Yeah, I feel like you feel it, and I feel like you are very close to the end of that nomad like energy but i feel like whoever has that you've had it for most of your life okay very alone in your endeavors very kind of on your own with your um adventures even uh and you were okay with that and you were hard working along the way very hard working along the way now i was picking up on another uh, another group of capricorns here and it could apply to both and you could apply to both groups you definitely could but i feel like for a lot of you it is going to be a bit separate this other group i was picking up on you're pissed off you're angry, you're annoyed, you're agitated. Um, you have something sitting in your lap that is like so good for you, so healthy for you. I just get golden. I actually am hearing golden. It's golden, okay? It's like gold for you, Capricorn, and it's for you. But I feel like people around you are upset by it or someone in your life is upset by it, whatever it is. It could be a job opportunity. It could be a romance. It could be many different things but whatever it is it's gold and it's really good for you it's really good for you and i feel like you're even using that in an argument like no this is good for me like this person's good for me this job is good for me this city is good for me this is what i need and i think you're getting to the point capricorn where you're about to be like you know what i don't give a fuck what you have to say about it i know that this is for me and i'm going to embrace it so I think you might start cutting someone out or many people out, whoever it is that's disagreeing with you about whatever this thing is that's sitting in your lap. And, and actually, my guys are telling me you don't have it 100%, whatever it is. It's not 100% in your grasp or ownership. I don't know why, but that's how they're telling it to me. Um, but it's good for you and you know it and you're 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 about to like you're about to, you're about to really do something about these people who are upset by it okay or again person who are upset by it for some it's just one person others it's like many people okay so let's get into the pre-shuffle cards so we have the magician which is mercurial energy virgo gemini it could also be aquarius scorpio divine masculine energy ten of cups piscean energy and eight of pentacles virgo energy a lot of hard work here 
and I'm just getting build it, build it, build it, build it. I feel like I've had this with you before, Capricorns. You've been working really hard to manifest something regarding home or family or just your ultimate, you know, uh, emotional fulfillment. So you, again, so you'd be over the moon, overjoyed with life. You put on a lot of sweat, blood and tears into it and it feels like you've done it on your own. Yeah, it feels like you've done it on your own, but this is what you've been striving for. And I do feel like it's very much, again, like right there or sitting in your lap. And we have this energy, which I thought was really interesting. I feel like there's an energy that is about a person who's attached to you or someone that you're connected to, okay? We have the moon in reverse. Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Empress in reverse, Libra, Taurus, divine feminine energy, because it is Venus, right? Judgment in reverse, fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. And then six of wands, Jupiter, Leo energy. I know, a lot of cards, guys. This person, whoever they are, they've come into a lot of understanding. They've come into a lot of understanding. I'm also feeling a big calming effect on this person, which actually is pretty cool. I just feel like, oh. <laughs> like they just kind of melted um, from understanding. Yeah, they've gained a lot of understanding and clarity about something I feel like they've been holding on to. It feels very much like a grudge. A grudge or like wrongdoings that this person's endured from people or even you, Capricorn. But because they've come into some understanding and clarity about it, they've conquered that. It's like they've they've allowed themselves to let it go. Whatever wrongdoings they've endured in life, they're letting it go. And it's it's a good thing too, because this person's growth has been very much stifled. They're very capable. I think this person has a lot in their life. Yeah. Yeah, I think this person has a lot in their life. Okay, their life is not exa their life is very full. But they've been growing but not to the extent that they really could have been, right? Because they've been holding on to such shit, but they're letting it go and being very victorious about it, which feels good. So it's like Capricorn, you're doing your thing over here, really working on your wish fulfillment, your emotional fulfillment, your ultimate happiness here, whether it's home or family or just something you've been wanting for yourself, while someone that you're very much connected to um, is letting go of some really awful things that have really held them back. And then we have justice in reverse, Libra energy, with lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. That's also my divine soul connection card. So soulmate, all the way up to twin flame or divine counterpart. I feel like this is a passing energy. Oh, Okay, my my, guy, my guides are correcting me. It's it's still here. It's still here. They're telling me there's been a major injustice, and I, it, you know, yeah, between the two of you, between the two of you, something happened to really tear you two apart, and it was wrong. Whatever it was, it was really wrong. Okay, it was really really wrong, um, karmically wrong. Hmm. I have the chills. Sorry, on my left side of the body. <sighs> It was karmically wrong, and I do feel like it was something that the two of you never had the full picture on. Like, you two had your perceptions about it, but I feel like both your perceptions were wrong. I'm not saying you were wrong or they were wrong or there's someone to blame, but your both of your perceptions about it weren't accurate, okay? And I think that's also why it's such an injustice, because it's like, because you guys didn't see the full picture, it just was really easy to really have you two fall apart or to be pulled apart, okay? Interesting. All right, Capricorns, <laughs> let's finally get into the reading. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with tarot readings or have questions on how to understand or interpret tarot readings as a viewer, link is below. Go ahead and check it out, okay? All right, let's get into it. Any messages for Capricorns regarding love, June 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Capricorns regarding love, June 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Capricorns? <laughs> okay, this has to be for like one or two of you. I heard princess. <laughs> Maybe that's a pet name. I don't know, but that's really cute. That's really cute. Um, oh, wow. Five of Swords just came flying out. Venus and Aquarian energy here. I just heard walking away. Walking away, walking away. Any messages for Capricorns? Oh, now I'm hearing that song, Walk Away, from Christina Aguilera. Um, I don't think a lot of people know that song. It's a really good song. It's actually also a very sexy song. Definitely worth listening to, okay? It's about basically being addicted to a person or a situation. Oh, 
but there's there's a walking away here of of walking away from bad energy walking away from negative energy and antics getting antics any messages for capricorns regarding love june 1st to the 11th page of swords in reverse oh my yeah antics for sure for sure any messages for uh, my Capricorns? I almost called you Cancers. See, like you guys are definitely chill in your inner Cancer right now. Or you could uh, know a Cancer or be connected to a Cancer. You could have that in your chart. Any messages for Capricorns? Huh. King of Wands. Leo energy could also be fire or air. Hmm. Getting a lot of powerful energy off this person. Really strong energy really strong energy why do i feel like they're pushy like i almost feel like they're probably perceived as a bully whether they are or not but they have such strong energy they probably have a very strong personality strong arm yeah there's something about this person's energy or personality that's very pushy or just very forceful very forceful any messages for capricorns Regarding love, June 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Capricorns regarding love, June 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Capricorns regarding love? Hello. We have the Fool in Reverse, Aries Energy, could also be Aquarius. This is a Uranus card here. Definitely attached to the King of Wands. Definitely attached to this King of Wands individual. Any messages for Capricorns regarding love? June 1st to the 11th. Oh, there's Cancer. <laughs> Any messages for Capricorns? Oh, oh, Cappies. Now we have Chariot, Cancerian energy with the Page of Cups. Oh, this is interesting. There's some funky stuff going on here, Capricorns. Overall energy, we have Three of Swords in a verse, healing, Libra energy. Feel Still feel like I'm very tapped into masculine Capricorn energies here. Again, we all have masculine and feminine energy. All right. Um, but this has been happening since I moved where it's like a lot of masculine energy or males have kind of been at the forefront of my reading. So again, if you're dominant feminine, um, it'll probably be vice versa for you. But yeah, so Capricorns, there's someone walking away from antics here. And I feel like you're walking away from someone's antics. You're walking away from lies. I'm getting tantrum too. That's interesting. Yet yeah, you're walking away from lies, you're walking away from mind games, you're walking away from bullshit, antics. But I'm getting antics, antics, antics. Okay. Mm. I'm actually getting a little bit of a download here. Capricorns. There's someone who's been in your way. And I don't think you realized it until this point, that they've been in your way. And I, I feel really strongly this is really tied to like whatever injustice kind of pulled you away from somebody here. Um, but they're getting in your way and they just have antics. They just bring antics to the table. They just bring chaos. They bring drama. They bring lies. And I don't even think they realize they're lying. There's a word for this. It's not just a compulsive liar, but it's like someone who believes their lies, right? Someone who believes their lies, Um and you're walking away from that. You're walking away from that, okay? And then we have this King of Wands energy here with the full universe. And I was still feeling, I'm still feeling that like pushy, bully kind of energy. But Capricorns, I feel like it's actually you. And I don't want you to take off offense to that. Um, I actually think it was very necessary. I think you have that energy because you were dealing with antics. You were dealing with someone that you had to be forceful with, okay? Especially someone who believes their own lies, right? It's like, how do you get through to someone like that you had to be a little bit of a bully you had to be a little bit of a bully with somebody here um but then with the full in reverse it's like <sighs> jumping out of the situation i feel like you're going to do a risk move with this antics person when you walk away you're gonna call them on their bullshit but it's like I feel like you're not even sure if they're really lying or telling the truth, but you're taking a risk and calling them out on it. And I feel like that's going to be like the nail in the coffin. Yeah, I feel like you're going to realize, okay, glad I tried that risk because it's working out in my favor. I'm done with this antics. I'm done with your lies. Um, and then you're going to go off into, into something brand new for yourself. Something that is, I'm getting golden again. 
yeah whatever this golden thing is for you capricorns it's been in your lap and i think that's why you haven't had it 100 percent because you've been dealing with antics you've been dealing with someone who's been keeping you from it completely keeping it from you 100 percent, and you're done with that you're done with that and then with the cherry and page of cups i do feel a little bit of an apology here and a major softening again this is your natural seventh here a lot of water energy that you're coming into it's like you go from swords dealing with antics bullshit mind games a little bit of a strategist so doing that like risky calling them out when you don't even really know the truth here with the fire energy this is pure fire and then once you're done with that action it's like you can embrace your golden thing a hundred percent and just water man water 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 um, like emotions just come flooding in here and overall it is healing a major situation for you yeah it's like wow i'm loving this okay i'm loving this i'm loving this let's look at the antics you're walking away from Okay, let's look at the page of swords in reverse. Um, you see Alice in Wonderland. I love this deck. So I have a page of swords in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. June 1st to the 11th. So I have a page of swords in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. June 1st to the 11th. So I have a page of swords in reverse for Capricorn regarding love, June 1st to the 11th. Okay. So I have a page of swords in reverse for Capricorn. Let's see here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Lovers in reverse, Gemini energy, which we did have in the pre-shuffle, guys. So soulmate energy, divine counterparts or twin flames, whatever resonates with you. Nine of pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, also my pre-empress card here. Oh, I see. This person's antics, there's some sense of control here. Okay, so they, they do believe their lies. They do, but they also know how to play the game. They know how to play the game. And Capricorns, I gotta be honest, it feels like they were playing you a little bit. It feels like they were playing you. I'm getting a lot of insecurity off of this person. A lot of insecurity off this person. And I feel like they really wanted to make you insecure and make you really unsure-footed. Is that a term? <laughs> Unsure-footed? <laughs> Not strongly-footed? I don't know. I don't know why I don't have like all my terms with me. But that's how this is feeling. And it's definitely in regards to a very intense connection i feel like they wanted to really chip away your confidence regarding this connection here that we keep coming across tell me about page of swords in reverse wow the moon cancerian energy also piscean with strength in reverse leo energy yeah see what you don't know about this person capricorn is that they're very insecure they're very insecure and i feel like that's why they've been trying to um, play antics with you, um, a little bit of control, trying to kind of keep you because they need that. They need that. They need whatever it is you have, whatever it is you've been giving them. That's what they've been needing. Okay. I don't, I do not think this is the Empress. I don't think this is the Empress we saw in the pre shuffle. Play about page of swords in reverse for Capricorn. It could be a friend, a business relationship, a family member. Tell me about page of swords in reverse for Capricorn. Could be, a, could it be a lover? Yeah, could be. Very well, could be. So I have a page of swords in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. Overall energy. Oh, oh, oh. oh, wow. We've got a queen of wands here, people. Aries energy could also be water or fire. I'm so sick of seeing this queen of wands. I know you guys are too. So sick of seeing this queen of wands. When is the plague of the queen of wands going to stop here? Capricorns, this is a, um, a perfect match for you. It's a perfect pair. So it is, they are part of your soul tribe, okay? But not everyone who's part of our soul tribe is someone we're meant to be with, okay? Some of them are just there to teach us lessons. And I feel like this is someone who has plagued you from lifetime to lifetime, honestly. Um, and they they just are up to no good. They're, they're just up to no good, Capricorns. And you finally realize that, which is why you're walking away. Which is why you're walking away. You took a risk doing it. You took a risk calling them out. I feel that really strongly because you weren't really sure if they were lying or not. And then it's like, you know what? Well, let me just test it out and see what happens. And you find out the truth and you're out of there. You're done with them. You cut them out. You cut them out. And then we have this quick forward movement with a lot of water and like just, just pure emotion and love around it. It feels really good, Caps. Really, really good. Let's look at the chariot here and see what we got going on. Tell me about the chariot. 
for Capricorns regarding love, June 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the chariot for Capricorns regarding love, June 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the chariot for Capricorns regarding love, June 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the chariot for Capricorns regarding love, June 1st to the 11th. Oh, caps. Oh, I'm melting. I'm melting in a good way. Your empress is melting. Yeah, I feel like this queen of wands kept you from, from an empress, caps. I really do. I really do. It's coming in so clear now. Coming in so clear. <sighs> Ace of Cups, man. I'm drawn to the waterfall, actually, in the back. That waterfall. It's like, I just, now I'm getting like rapids, rapids, rushing water. Oh my God, Capricorns, get ready. This is this moment, whatever this moment is of this Ace of Cups, this opportunity in love moving forward. And again, it feels a little bit like an apology here. Um, it's going to be intense, man. It's going to be intense. And I'm feeling like quick energy, quick moving energy. Uh, maybe you just maybe you guys just talk really fast. I don't know. But it's like very quick moving energy. Things might move really fast from here on out. Tell me about the chariot for Capricorn. Regarding love. Ooh. Interesting. Three of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy. This is really interesting because Three of Cups in reverse is usually like disappointment, lack of celebration. Um, oh, okay. Suppressed desire. Suppressed desire here. Um, now I'm getting a couple things. Capricorns, whatever this Ace of Cups opportunity moment is, I do feel like it's part of the golden thing that's been in your lap and not 100% in your grasp here. Um, and I, I do feel strongly that it's like you've been wanting, you deeply have been wanting to kind of be in with the golden thing 100%, 100% to like celebrate and be so fucking happy and to have fun in your life. Um, and you haven't had that. You haven't had that. I'm also getting... Um, some alone time. I'm getting some alone time. Like, almost like, let's just get away from everyone and talk. <laughs> it's it's very, um, I like it, cats. I like it. I like it a lot. Tell me about the chariot for Capricorns. Yeah, it's like, it's gonna, it feels private. It feels very private and very intimate. Whatever it is that you're about, you're, you know, going into. Okay, it feels very private. Tell me about chariot. Tell me about the chariot for Capricorns regarding love, June 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the chariot. <sighs> oh, what did I say about water? Oh my God. Water, 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 water. <laughs> I've never seen the el like elements so separate in a reading before. Wow, it's amazing. King of Cups, Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. I'm getting commitment, man. Mine, 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 this is mine, Caps, is what you're saying. This is mine. I am committing to it. It is mine. I'm branding it? I got this. I got this for someone else this week, the branding thing. I don't know if I like that. I got this. I definitely got that some other time this week. Um, but Capricorns, it's yours. It's fucking yours, and you know it, and you're not let, letting anyone take it away from you, okay? Um, on the bottom of the deck, we do have two of swords in reverse, moon and Libra energy here. Very clear-headed decision has been made. Capricorn, you've made the fucking decision. You made the decision. Um, you're done with this person's antics. And I, again, like, I'm getting also, like, tantrum here, okay? I'm also getting tantrum because they're very, very insecure. They've just been wanting to, like, latch on to you because they feel that they need whatever it is that you've been giving. You're walking away from it. You're you're taking that risk and calling them out. You're going into what into the golden thing, 100%, and it seems like it's all love-related. Look at the emotions here, guys. Look at this. Water. <laughs> Whoa, did you see how that like flipped out of my hand? <laughs> see, you're going, Capricorn, you're going. Water, 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 water. That's amazing. That's amazing. And like I said, I do feel a little bit of an apology attached to this. Actually, before we get into advice, 
I want to look at this page of cups a little bit. I just can never help myself. I'm trying to cut down on the clarifiers to cut on time. And I know you guys love how long my videos are. I know you guys do. It's not about that. I need to cut down on time for myself. That's all. All right. Tell me about the page of cups. Tell me about this apology. Tell me about this apology. Tell me about the page of cups. Tell me about the page of cups for Capricorns. What did I say about golden? Look at all that gold, Capricorn. Oh, oh, that was weird. Sorry, I saw something. 26, bring it down to an eight. Great fortune. Oh my God, yeah. Golden opportunity. Person, relation, it feels like a relationship. There's a whole lot of love right here. It's like you hit the jackpot, Caps, and you know it. You know it. So it's like, what? And it's almost like you're even, I feel like you're even telling yourself this. How could I let anyone keep me from this? <laughs> How could I ever for a second let anyone or anything keep me from this? Tell me more about the Page of Cups. Oh my God, Capricorns. I want to be a Capricorn right now. Tell me about the Page of Cups for Capricorn. Whoa, privileged lady, 12, breaking down to a three. It could mean like, you know, you have a, a wealthy female that you're going to. Oh, made wealthy. I just heard made. I got the chills, man. Made wealthy. For some of you, it does mean actual money um, that I feel like the two of you are making together, to be honest. Um, but I also get wealth in the sense of just like wealthy in love, man. Like, fuck. Wealthy in love. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we got. I have the chills all over. Oh, my God. I'm sure you guys can feel it. Tell me about the page of cups for Capricorn. Tell me about the Page of Cups for Capricorn. Okay, so we got one other card here. <laughs> what did I say? Unexpected income. 27 bringing out of nine. Some of you, this is money. Some of you, it's like a golden opportunity and there is like a female energy involved here and I do feel like it is the Empress, but it's not just about money, guys. This is also about wealth and love. All right, wealth in love. Oh my God. Made wealthy. Made wealthy. That might be part of the title. And on the bottom of the card, family room. 21 breaking down to a three. This card's been coming up a lot for people. Family room indicates family. Um, so yeah, this could be a family opportunity too, or this could be someone who could potentially become part of your family, just saying. Um, it's also a timeline energy of 24 hours to a month out of whenever you see this card. So whenever you come across this reading, this will transpire about 24 hours to a month out, okay? Um, and again, I'm getting that lap imagery again because this also is like the room that's right there. Like, you know, if, when, when you, if you guys ever buy this deck or read the book, um, like the family room is the room that's like right there. It's right next to you. It's right under your nose. It's right there in your lap, Capricorns. It's right there. It's right there. And you're not letting a queen of wands get in your way anymore. Oh my God. It feels so good. Oh, Capricorns. I'm so excited for you. All right. Let's pull some advice. I don't think you need it, but let's see what we get. Let's just see what we get. Sometimes we'll get extra messages too. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Oh, come on. Okay. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Cappies? Regarding this spread. Oh, I love it. Brown bear spirit. Take time out with the number nine. This is interesting. Oh, I see. You've been focusing too hard, Capricorn. You know when we look at something for way too hard, way too long, way too hard, way too long, it's like it starts to get distorted. We don't see the obvious things. I think that's also why it took so long for you to see what your Queen of Wands was up to, or like the catastrophic shit that this person has caused in your life or at least from getting to your golden thing um because you've been looking at it too hard you've been looking at it too hard too long remove yourself a little bit you'll see it quicker remove yourself a little bit and you'll see it quicker any advice for my capricorns regarding love 
Oh, dolphin spirit, this and that are true. 20 breaking down to a two. Oh, Capricorns. Okay, I feel like this is... Ugh. Capricorns, you're hitting me in my heart space. I don't know why, but all of a sudden I feel this energy of like, I don't deserve. I can't have this and I can't have that. You know? Not like I want my cake and eat it too. It's more like, I feel like some Cappies here have kind of deprived themselves a little bit through their life. Feeling like, I can't have it all. I'm not supposed to have it all. I don't deserve to have it all. You do deserve to have it all, Capricorn, and you're going to get it all. I mean, my God, if I could pick up these fucking cards. Look at that, Capricorn. Look at that. You do deserve that, okay? You can have it all. You can have this and you can have that. You can. All right, you got to start believing that. Let's see what else we can get here. Almost, I, I, okay, yeah, that just came in really strong. It's like you feel like you can't have an amazing career and you can't have amazing love at the same time. Yeah, you can, okay? <laughs> Any other advice for Capricorns regarding this spread? Any other advice for Capricorns regarding this spread? Any other advice for Capricorns regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Capricorns? All right. Now we have turkey. Oh God, everyone's been getting this one too. Turkey spirit, give with grace and gratitude. 61 breaking down to a seven. Oh, this is about your queen of wands. You're going to want to rip their face off. I'm just being honest. Like they got you real irritated. They do. They have you really aggravated, really pissed off and feeling also a bit betrayed and also making you kick yourself, which you're mad at them for, which I think is kind of funny. You're mad at them that you're kicking yourself for being in this as long as you have or letting them be a factor in inhibiting you as long as they have. This is a reminder to try to stay composed, okay? <laughs> try to stay composed and be grateful that you're at least seeing it now and that you're at least getting out of it now and that now you are heading towards this, okay? Oh, I just got a download. Um... Capricorns, I think I'm understanding the other reason why you guys are so irritated. Whatever this opportunity is or this person is, I think you've had this opportunity before. And you might not realize it till you're like in it. So you're actually embracing 100% your golden thing, your golden opportunity. Um, but it's almost like you're going to look back and be like, oh my God, I could have had this. I could have been here already, but I, I have the sense Capricorn, it kind of, it, it was better it happened this way. I think it was better it happened this way. I think you would, okay, it's going to sound so convoluted. If you had taken this opportunity on the first go, you would have had a hard time holding on to it. You would have held on to it. I think you still would have held on to it, but it would have been a tough go. I think you would have had to have a lot of growth and a couple of lessons learned to hold on to it. You would have done it but it would have been a harder road. Not that this road wasn't hard, but I almost feel like this is better because it's like you get to really start off amazing without it being so hard, if that makes any sense, okay? And then on the bottom of the deck, we have Bat Spirit. A rebirth is assured with the number five. Uh, new, 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 new. Yeah, you're going through some change. You're getting rid of this Queen of Wands. Or at least getting... Sorry, guys. Spirit is all around me right now. Um, it always gets a little distracting. Anyway, sorry, bringing it back to you. You're getting rid of this Queen of Wands or you're getting away from this Queen of Wands and that is changing your life. That is changing you and you are embracing something that's fucking fabulous. Oh my God, fabulous. Yeah, you're gonna feel reborn <laughs> to some extent. You definitely will. So Capricorns, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to go on Patreon, comment, like, and um, also check out Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I will see you guys later. Have a great week and a great night, okay? Namaste.